Welcome Galactic Family, believe in yourself. Greetings, my dears. I am Crean, of the Magnetic Service. It is typical that at the end of the second day the message is personal. We say this often. And often it is for those who are in the room. However, in the room can be redefined. Let us define it as all those who are listening. I want to give a channel on the discovery. And for this to be meaningful to all of you, I want you to forget everything you think you know, just for a moment. It will not hurt to do this, just leave out all that was said to you. This will not diminish you because you can take it back whenever you want. You do not have to leave differently. You can keep all the attributes that are you. But for now, for now, just for a moment, I want you, figuratively, to tear down the walls of belief in everything that's been said to you about anything. And here you are. I want to start from the beginning. I want you to find out something. Something I'd love to show you, but it's so hard. Maybe in the eyes of your mind you can see all this. Before you came here, my dear ones, before you came here, as humans, in this life, you were literally part of the creative source. If I could show you how it is, what are the limitations of an angel? Without a body, without eyes, without ears? There are no limitations. You exist for existing in the creator's soup, pure love. And yet, you have a name. You are an eternal soul as old as the old. Before this universe, before the universe before this. Before any universe, you existed. You are about to return to the planet. And you've done it before. In other scenarios, on other planets, in other galaxies, in other universes. This is something you do, a lot. That's how old you are, old Alma. What? You might say, be part of this creative source. And where would you be? There is nowhere, you see? If you ask where God is, there is no answer. Yes. Is the answer. You cannot put a location in love, in the creator. So if you are part of the soup that is the creator, old the soul, with a name, you were with many souls with a name that were in the soup. You can see all things, every frequency of light that exists. You can hear each frequency that exists. It means that it is beyond any human hearing. You can hear light. Colors are not limited to your retina. There is no limitation. And what is your galaxy is awesome, full of rainbows, beauty, spirit, life. And you can see everything. Imagine. Imagine. Old soul, with a name, this is who you are. I could stop right there. This is who you are. Not the one you see in the mirror, you're about to be the one in the mirror. I want you to find out who you are. You will have shivers. Do not you feel that this is true? Do you honestly feel that you are just a biological vehicle coming and going? That somehow you're born into some energy and then you're gone? A blink of the soul's existence, that does not make sense. My dear ones, 80% of your planet has the intuitive nature to believe in the afterlife. What does that tell you? It's self-evident. You're more than you look. At this point, you are about to return to the planet. You get to enjoy the system if you want to call it that. The system of choice, even before you get here. And this system revolves around who you've been before, what you've experienced, what you want to experience this time around. There is a name for the lives on the planet, we call it an expression. It seems fleeting, does not it? It is simply an expression of who you are. You can spend a hundred years here, just an expression. And then there will be another expression, and another expression, and another expression. I want you to discover how ancient you are, how wise you are, what you know. 
What if you could carry this planet along with you as a baby, all that you are? The system is set, you made the choices, you know who your parents will be. It is not a coincidence, not even its culture. And you would say, well, would it be a surprise to my parents? And the answer is, on an esoteric level of the soul, you are expected. You see, they have something to say about it, too. You might say, you mean when they were on the other side they made a choice? No, no, you see, the soul is everywhere. Are you aware of where your higher self is now? If you can call it, where? Where is he? Laughter he is everywhere. Let me give you something creepy to think old souls are always on the other side of the veil, somewhere, on some level. We've said that before, but now it's time to find out. This means that before your birth your parents agreed to work with you. Again, maybe. Or in a different way, maybe. You are about to descend, reborn into a biological form. But you're not there yet. There is something for you to discover as you sit in the chair listening to this message. If it is true that old souls are on the other side of the veil, if it is true that your soul, your higher self, is also now on the other side of the veil, it means that every human being you have loved and lost on this planet yet it's up to you. On a soul level, on a level of love, on a level of compassion, I told you to forget everything that was said to you, and I meant it right now. Empty the container of logic at this point. I want you to see it, I want you to discover it, I want you to know it you have not lost anyone. They are still there. The soul with a name knows who you are, my dear ones, the parents you have lost, the brothers or sisters, or even the children, they are still there. The energy is different, the body shape is not there, but they are. Ever. Ever. Forget everything I taught you about what happens after death, on the other side of the sky. It's not what you think. It's so much bigger than you think. That's reality, that's not it. You are about to come to the planet again. We talk about the breath of life. We use this metaphor because it is something that blows you into the three dimensions. From the beauty that is on the other side of the veil you are blown to this planet. In fact, there is a biological form called an embryo that has always been there in preparation for your soul. And there would be the theologian's argument about when the soul literally enters the body, I am telling you that it is when you take your first breath, this is the time when you are back. This is the wind of rebirth. And then you come and you begin to remember the planet. This is the precious moment for you, your mother, your father. The renewal of life is celebrated. But you're so old. Even as a child, when you look into your eyes, some will tell you how old you are. The next time you look into the eyes of a newborn baby, my dear ones, I want you to look beyond the biological. He will look directly at you. And if you can hear him speak, he can tell you his soul name. And you could say, I'm back, I'm here, I'm old. And you can hear it. As a child, there are some things that happen within you. You think a newborn has no consciousness. Or is it? Maybe there's more you think of a newborn. Realize, a newborn still cannot talk. He cannot form ideas, yet or concepts. Or can they? Perhaps the concepts are grandiose and they simply cannot express them. All mothers know this, you spend time looking at your newborn's eyes and all sorts of information is changed from eye to eye. They cannot express themselves, but they can say things to you. They can say there is a plan, they are with you and you are with them. They can tell you a little about the future. This is the discovery that I want you to see the greatness of who you are. Then some things start to happen. 
you start to grow. And life begins to happen to you. And that's when the shutdown starts to happen, that's when you forget. You forget the wind of birth, you forget that moment when you could see the infinite light, hear the infinite light, feel all things. You forget that you are part of the Creator with a purpose. And you go to a place with new discoveries. A place where you are given the choice, darkness and light will appear to you very early in your life and you have to choose. And this choice you have, my dear ones, right now, on earth, collectively, you chose well. And I want you to return to the wind of birth for a moment because I did not tell the whole story. Each of you has the soul with a name. You knew about the change, but you did not know what would happen, because that would be free will. Many of you have come down in a time when the prophecies were obscure. Some of you came in a time just before the move, some of you came after. But most of those in the room did not know there would be a change. And, whispering in that beautiful ear that could hear all things, including light, was the compassionate creative source saying, you can go in any direction. Will you anyway? You can take any path. Free will, it's not the future, you do not know the future. All they know is free will and it can go in any direction. You could follow a direction in which, as before, you exterminated yourself in a horrible way. This is something that can happen, are you ready to go? And from the infinite wisdom of the creative source, the soul with a name says, I will not lose. I will not lose. I'm coming in. Have you discovered who you are? O oh, brave soul with a name? O oh, old soul that enters the planet knowing that in a bodily way you can be burned alive, quartered, by a blast that comes in the blink of an eye, and then you're gone. You might have to endure that last moment when your children are in front of you and you see them go first. It would not be the first time, and yet you say, yes. Have you discovered who you are? I know who you are and all this hides from you. All this. Instead you sit in the chair and you worry about things, what will happen now? How will this work? Will I be able to do this or that? You have no idea who you are, none. The grandeur and magnificence of the old soul with a name that belongs to the creative source is totally unknown to you. And that's what you are. You look in the mirror and you only see a single entity, a biological being with a face. You've had so many faces, so many lives, so many opportunities. But this is different. Since you started doing this, there were only a few times when you went through the marker. This is who you are. The discovery, not of being, but of the soul. The discovery of the soul. That's what I want you to know. For that is who you are. You came to this magnificent planet. Now it's your turn to discover the magnificence again. Forget everything you knew. What happens next? Some will say, well, I'm an old man now. And there are some young people here, I will tell you that you will be an old man tomorrow. And that's how you feel. And you will take one last breath and you will return to me, with the creative source, with the angels, with reality. And I will tell you what will happen then. There will be a big smile, there will be a celebration, there will be a party you did it. You did it. You did it. And you will look back at the earth, and you will look at me and say, I want to go back now. 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 How fast can I go back? I have unfinished business. I feel the light. I know what's coming. We've done this before. I cannot wait to get on with it. This is who you are, magnificent in everything. And you will return magnificent, when you return you will awaken with new wisdom. You will never make the same mistakes again. 
you will be a child that has not even been identified yet with the attributes you will have. Light does this on this planet. Listen, the more people you touch with the light, the more it will happen. Even those on the planet who would never believe in this channeling, who would never, ever go in these places, when they have passed the veil and breathed their last breath, they will know everything. And they will return with the light. Did you know this? Because they can see now. And even if they have had a difficult life without ever having entered the room like that or heard a message like that, forget everything that was said to you. They will see everything. They will see the truth. They will see what is happening on earth and future potentials. And then they'll look at me and say, I want to go back. I want a chance to discover the light, as well as those old souls in whom I never listened. Get down there. I want to feel, I want to wake up. And I'll go on a date like this one. I have just described someone who is listening, who is very young, and who is now awakening to things that often only adults wake up to. The potential of discovering who you really are. This is the future. This is a system. Now I want you to put your box back. Everything that's been taught to you, go on. Take some tapes and stick it all together again. The box of belief we've talked about before and everything that's been taught to you, everything you've ever experienced. Most of it is linear. The greatest of them are truths of the old energy. And you have the option and opportunity to examine the box itself. If you do this and open it again I want you to be ready to discover the magnificence of the soul with a name, a name you cannot pronounce. A name that has always been there. A name for eternity is the soul that is you. We talk about sharing souls. We talk about multiple souls together. But, my dear ones, there is the soul with a name that is you. Always you. You come and go in ways that are multidimensional. You would not understand. You've been to many places before they look like earth, and they are not. You've been through these changes before. Let me tell you, some of you have gone through those changes that have completely failed, where the planet where you were on failed to make the change, has not changed. And finished. And you came back and said, I'm ready to go again. Who are you to do this? This is the wisdom of the soul with a name, which can see and hear them. This is who you are. This is whoever will be. What is happening to humanity at this time, over a great period of time? You will find out about this story and this truth, the great thing that will happen, and it was about time, will be that you will wake up and see that it is worthy to be here. No matter what anyone says, you are still worthy. And if someone comes and says to you, you are nothing. You can look at her and smile, lie. I'm worthy. Intrinsically, you will know that you are worthy. It will be self-evident and you will know that it is worthy. Different from how it is now, is not it? Have you ever witnessed a young child who is super deserving? Which will look at you and assume nothing you say will lessen the merit she has. They are already here. The change has already begun. Look for her in children and remember that you will be one of those children again, and again, and another. And each time you return to this planet will be more filled with light. There will be things that will happen here and you will not be able to remain still. You say, I do not want to wait. I want to go back. I see. I see. You have the panoramic view you do not have now. Have you put your box back? Have you examined what's inside it? Laughter or not? Dear ones, the box can always be dismantled. Anytime you want, you can begin to rearrange the truth about who you are. I'll say again to conclude is not it any wonder why I'm in love with a soul with a name, 
by the human being? Magnificent in every way. I know you better than you know yourself. And so it is.